Welcome to another Jaltus Marine Vlog. We're going to be showing you how to connect and how to perform a remote key learning on a Yamaha watercraft. First, we need to press the watercraft picture in order to access the brand menu. Then we select Yamaha. Now, select the desired model. After selecting the engine system, clicking into the connector symbol will take us to the plug selection. In this case, just one option is available. As you can see, we have detailed information and different images. First image, we have the connector location. Second image, we have the connector image. Third image, the pinout detail. And fourth, the cables you need. JDC 600 and JDC 213 and 3, because we have two different routes, is the adapter is the cable that's connected to the link interface. From that adapter, that cable, you have to connect the JDC 601M. That's the Yamaha diagnosis cable. As you may know, the engine safety codec switch has to be wire connected to a kill switch on the dashboard. This is a required condition in order to switch on the watercraft engine. Now click connect. As you can see, Jaltus Marine is guiding you through the process. It's very simple and very easy. In order to connect to the engine's ECM, you must press the start button or start the engine. If you press the question mark, you will see the image, the green button. Now, click back. If you disconnect from the engine, you have to press the start button if you wish to connect again. To perform a remote control recording, select parameters and remote key learning. As we will be performing an action that needs to write on the electronic control unit, we need the expert mode code. This code is totally free and can be requested from your client area in our website, childtest.com. Select the box and then accept. From now on, read the instructions carefully. The recording process has to be performed manually. Therefore, you need to disconnect the Jaltus Marine interface after pressing the check button. The Jaltus Link interface must remain connected to the PC via USB in order to access to the step-by-step -step programming release. Very important, you need to know that after starting the recording process, all keys will be clear from the memory. As mentioned, you don't have to remain connected to the Yamaha with the diagnosis cable JDC 601M. You need to reconnect the connector shown in location number one for an operational use of the watercraft. Now insert the programming adapter part number JDC 661M in location two. This is the adapter and this is the socket. Now switch on. We need a minimum of 12 volts. Then press the ignition button. If done correctly, the work class will go into programming mode and all keys that we wish to memorize must be available on Yamaha up to five. Press the lock button and then unlock button. The green security light will switch on for 2-3 seconds and then flashes. During the recording process, the instrumentation board must not beep. As you can see, we show an example of how to press lock, left button, and unlock right button, and how the light flashes. If you desire to memorize more keys, just repeat the previous instructions with every key. Remember, up to five keys on Yamaha. 
When finished, you just need to remove or disconnect the programming adapter part number JDC661M and check that all ignition keys work correctly. Thank you for following us.